Here I'm going to walk you through writing the equation for this word problem. I want to make sure though that you first tried this on your own. This video is just for those that watched my previous video where I went through this three-step process for some other problems and are still stuck and not sure what to do. So if you haven't done that, please watch that other video and give this a shot because the more practice you get in doing this on your own, the better you're going to be. So here it says Clive has a phone plan where he pays double his base rate per minute rate for any additional minutes spent on a call over 20 minutes. So part A of this question is asking us to define our variables and part B is asking us to write an equation. And we need to do that using just this information at the top. Part C goes on to give us some, some of the numbers, the number of minutes, the total cost. But let's assume we don't know that at this point. We only know what's at the top of the screen. So part A, step one here, asks us to define our variables. What numbers don't we know that we need to know in order to calculate the monthly cost for his phone? Well, they talk here about the base per minute rate they haven't given us that. We need to know how much he's charged per minute, but we don't know, so that's an unknown number. We have to define a variable for it. We also don't know how many minutes he spent on calls that month, and we would need to know that in order to figure out his bill for the month. Now, with equations, wants us to write an equation, you're gonna have something equals something. What are we calculating here using the base rate in the minutes? The total cost or the price per month. So we don't know that, so that's going to be our third variable. Now this is how you define your variables. You come up with letters that are going to represent these numbers that you don't know. And I used B, M, and T, but you can use any letter. But it's important that you define them that way, when someone reads your equation, they understand what you're saying. So after you define your variables, we write our equation. But what I suggest you do is come up with the structure of the equation, and then you can start filling things in. And by that, I want you to imagine that you're Clive, or think about your own phone plan or your parents. Think about this situation. Forget about algebra and math. Just think about how they are calculating this cost. It looks like Clive is, pay, like has, is charged a lower rate for the first 20 minutes. But then after that, he's charged more, double that rate. So what we're doing is we're calculating how much he has to pay for the first 20 minutes and then how much he pays for those additional minutes over 20, and we add those two numbers together, and that's gonna be our total cost. So this is what I mean about the structure. Just think it through. Come up with what you're gonna add with what to equal what in this case. So now that you have this, you could start filling in what goes on these yellow lines using the variables and any numbers given to us in the problem. But if you're still not sure what goes on those yellow lines, another strategy you can use is to come up with a really easy example. Let's come up with how much Clive would be charged per month if his base rate is $1 per minute and he was on his phone for 25 minutes. All right, so the price for the first 20 minutes. So if the base rate is a dollar, then it is 20 times $1. That's how much it's gonna cost you for the first 20 minutes. But how about those additional five minutes? Because he was on the phone for 25 minutes. How much does he charge for those additional five minutes? Well. Remember, he pays double his base rate. That means two times his base rate, so he'd be charged $2 instead of $1. So 20 times one is 20, five times two is 10, 
If we add those together, we get $30. That is his price. So now that we have this example, and it was easy for us, right, to do that in your head, now's the tough part, translating that into an equation. We need to think, what did we do? Why did we multiply 20 times one? Well, remember, the first 20 minutes, he's just charged his base rate, which is a dollar. So we just took 20 and we multiplied it by the base rate, right? How about the five times two? Why did we do that? Well, remember, he's charged twice or double his base rate for any minutes over 20. So how did I get that five? I took his total minutes, that 25, and I subtracted 20. 25 minus 20 gave me five other minutes that I need to be charged for. And what did I multiply that by? How did I get that two? Well, remember, for those additional minutes over 20, it's double his base rate or two times his base rate. So they're multiplying that by two times the base rate. That's how I came up with what goes on this line. And then all of that equals the total price. All right, now we're almost done. That example helped us figure out what we are doing, what, how we come up with what goes on each line by just doing an easy example and then figuring out, asking ourselves, how did, why did I use these numbers? Where did I get these numbers from? What are these numbers? So now we need to take what we've written down here and come up with what goes on these lines using the variables and any numbers we do know. So the first one, remember this price for the first 20 minutes? we found out it's just 20 times the base rate. So how do you write that? Remember, we don't know the base rate. We did in our little example, but now we don't know for Clive. So B is our base rate. So what goes on this line? On the second one, it's our total minutes minus 20 to figure out how many minutes were charged double the base rate. So tw total minutes minus 20. Remember, we don't know the total minutes now. M is our total minutes. And then all that's multiplied by two times the base rate. Remember, B is our base rate. So how do you represent that on this line? And then here, total price or total cost, we said that's just T. So this is just gonna be equals T. So what I need you to do is finish this up. Substitute in numbers, variables, whatever, in these two lines, and you have your equation.